train will you be tapped the ins and outs of becoming a soldier of God. Oh yeah, I am so ready. Let's start the intense training. Training will be tough. You sure you're ready? Yeah, you bet on it. Good. Now according to the manual, there are a few things that are essential to being in God's infantry. Great! I heard this manual is going to be sharper than a two-edged sword. This is going to be intense! Oh, it will be. According to 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14 of the manual, there are five steps you must follow to be a true soldier. Bring it on! Oh, I will. Pay close attention. The first step is to be on your guard. Can you handle that? On my guard. Right, well, I got my helmet of salvation, my sword of the spirit, and my shield of faith. Good, you passed step one. Now time for step two. You must be firm in your faith. Like not believing lies? I believe strictly in God's manual. Jesus Christ, the greatest king of all, is where my faith is founded. Well, congratulations. You've done better than most. Now on for the third and fourth step. You must be a man of courage and be strong. Well, I get my courage from the Lord and my strength, just like Samson. Good. Now, my zealous little friend, this is the final test. This is what separates the warriors from the wimps, the soldiers from the silly little gooses. Isn't it geese? You know what I mean. To pass the final test of being a warrior of God, you must do everything in love. Oh yeah, I gotta do everything in love. Wait a second. I gotta do everything in love to be a warrior of God? That's right. Warriors are supposed to fight and be strong. That's a love. Loving people is for kindergarten teachers and holiday icons. What? Do you mean you're not warrior enough to pass the final test? That's stupid. So what if I ignore my little sister and pick on that little dweeby kid at school? Warriors are supposed to be tough, not loving. A warrior of God is both loving and tough because God is both loving and strong. So what about faith and hope? I got plenty of those. Greater than those is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. If God can love people that much, don't you think you should too? I'm sorry, but changing my life so I show love to everyone is just way too hard. You don't have to do it on your own. Well, okay, I'll try. That's all I ask, and that's all God asks too. I'm